put Golper there, drawn from the champion there. Not always pretty, Munro, but it's effective, and this is the sort of part of a fight where it begins to get difficult for his opposition. Still Nishioka with the flashy burst and the accurate punching. But can he sustain that for 12 rounds? Well, he has the experience at this level. That's what we have to remember. He has looked very uncomfortable at times. But at the point in the fight where we expect Monroe really to be driving, really to be physically taking charge, he's not really doing that. It's not quite slick enough, Monroe. But... Again, Nishioka holding on. This when Brenda Munro finally got to Victor Tarapas. Does tend to get better towards the end of fights, Munro. Again, looking sorry for himself, Nishioka. But then he comes out with classy boxing. Yeah, but I mean, you just feel sometimes the round is there for Monroe to win if he can just dig in that little bit. This is what's needed. Yeah, the champion has been a little bit negative in this round, so if Monroe can just put the pedal down, this is what he has to do, impose himself. This should be his part of the fight. The show can just look to be going into a little bit of a shell for a little spell there, but back he comes again. It's been a hot pace from the opening bell. Will he run out of puff, out of steam? Nishioka can. Munro force himself enough. Probably not catching the eyes of the judges though, Rendell Munro. Might have taken that round, possibly. Nishioka looking tired. Well, the crucial stage, the championship rounds. Toshiaki Nishioka trying to hold on to this world super bantamweight crown. There's his family, little daughter. Slightly concerned look on the faces of the nearest and dearest of Nishioka. I think a problem for Monroe, maybe just what he's been doing, is just a little bit predictable all the way through, just walking straight forward with his hands up, uh, trying to, to get the punches off, whereas uh, Nishioka has looked good in the back foot, showing angles, putting punches together, powerful shots too, he's hurt Monroe a couple of times, so over the piece you just get the feeling the champion is doing enough to hang on to his title. Slow off his stool, but only nine minutes to get through for Toshiaki Nishioka. Could be a hard period for him. Munro, I guess, Jim, it's time now for caution to the win to throw everything he can. This is the opportunity, might not get another. Yeah, this is where he has to really go for it. I mean, you can't, as I say, you can't have asked a lot more from Rendell. He really has given this his best shot. But now it just has to, don't leave anything in the tank now, whatever you have, start using it here. Try to impose himself, that is his strength, his physical strength in, in the last quarter of a fight. But see, just been outsmarted a little bit there by the champion. Swelling under the right eye of Munro. Looks a tad clumsy at times, good body shot from Nishioka who certainly produced the flashier work. Monroe's only ever fought one southpaw before in David Killu. He's had sparring with Terry Flanagan. Good fighter. But this very different in world championship class. You know what? I, I was thinking, Adam, if Monroe could put uh, Nishioka onto the back foot, he was well on his way to victory, but I didn't expect Nishioka to be so good on the back foot. I mean, he's been clever, he's been smart, he's been using his experience. I didn't know he could be so effective, you know, boxing on the defence. Still trying, ever so hard, Rendell Munro. But Nishioka controlling the fight in 
vital stages. And look at the way he just moves around the ring. The footwork's good, Jim. Yeah, and then Monroe's beginning to lunge now. And there's no real snap in Monroe's punches. You get the feeling if he does land cleanly, it's not really going to have any effect on Nishioka, who really is using his savvy here, outthinking Monroe a little bit. Body shot from Munro, another problem for the Leicester man, only nine knockouts in his 22 Come again fights. to the body. Yeah, and he's got to suck it up here, Renner Munro. This yoke is a good finisher. That chiselled body, he's worked so hard, Munro, and he comes out again, but hurt him this round like he was in the fifth and in the seventh, showing real bottle, Munro, but at the moment, He's going to lose his world title challenge. I think the body shots are the reason that he hasn't been able to dominate. It's taken so much steam from him. Has found the quality punches when he's needed them. Toshiaki Nishioka. And that's the mark of a real champion. Yeah, that was a beautiful punch. Monroe has been troubled all the way through with the body shots and you can see the little delayed reaction there he, he was about to throw a punch of his own but that soon changed his mind just you could see him pulling in that was a beautiful punch and at this stage in such a tough fight really pays dividends that's taken more out of the Monroe tank I feel yep, finding the, the target behind the elbow used every ounce of his experience and his know-how. It's been a tremendous, sensible boxing from this Yorker. Hasn't been dramatic, you know, it hasn't been on the front foot, but it's been clever stuff. Just pulling the crowd up, this Yorker, as if to say, it's all fine, I'm back in control, and he has been for the periods that matter most during this 12-rounder, and now, on your card, well, he's a mile in front. Yeah, but happened by five points up uh, And I think that the general feeling is that the champion is hanging on to his title. Monroe just not doing enough when it counted. Got Nishioka in a similarly handy lead by a slightly different route. Monroe trying to box and weave, work Nishioka's body. But the confidence and flow back with the champion who looked after two or three rounds of though he might struggle with the pace, but he hasn't. Yeah, he's been breathing with his mouth open from the early rounds, but we have to remember he has the experience at this level, which uh, Rendell Monroe does not have, and it's a huge leap from European level to world level. Is that body shot again? Yeah, this time with the right hand and headshots as well. Got to cover up here, Munro. Not a lot coming back. He must be tired himself. He's put a great deal into it, and although he's got a great chin and that ripped body, these have got to hurt because they've been accurate. And Nishioka must feel the lack of strength in, the, in Rendell Monroe's work and the lack of power in his punches. Really is looking and feeling comfortable now. It's becoming a really, really good performance from Toshiaki Nishioka. Had his wobbles in the early rounds. Munro looked at one point as though he was in the ascendancy. But he needs something desperate in these last four minutes. No doubt about that. It's all Nishioka. No, I don't think Munro has anything in the tank. No, but to, to put his foot to the floor, I don't think he has much more to offer. I think he's just going to have to see this one out. The champion really has a comfortable look about his work now. Freewheeling around the wing. Toshiaki Nishioka. Only Chris Pyatt has become a world champion from Leicester. Munro hoping to become the second. Not looking good for his fan club from the East Midlands. And another body shot. He just can't miss with that Nishioka. And how Rendell Munro hasn't had to take account. Still he fights back. What spirit from the Brit? It's been a tremendous effort from Monroe all the way through. I'll say it again, you can't ask any more from him. He's given his best shot. But for long spells, he's been outthought. Made to miss again.
expert boxing from 